How's it going? Chop it up. My name is Bug TV, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be fast with part 10 of the Shadow of War Permadeath series. So, hopefully, in this episode, we're going to be finishing off the Shadow Wars and then maybe taking over the fortress in Lithlad just to get that done. Next episode, we're going to be getting the 100%, which requires us to die to the Pretender captain we've got set up in Lithlad. So, yeah, that'd be fun. But uh, without further ado, we've got like three seasons to get through, maybe four. So, we'll see how this goes. this fort. You just don't know it yet. Stand a chance. Got that damage. A single hit with the crit just did that much damage. It's because we get the bonus 100% damage on this uh, ring wraith ability. It's sick. Jeez. The, ca the scaling is actually stupid on that ring rate 30. God, I'm losing frames. Down. You ruined my epic streak. <gasps> I'm surprised we actually survived getting hit by that. Oh yeah, well that was fucking efficient. Those archers are facing the wrong way. <laughs> the darkness consumes you. The ring consumes you. Hold on, Talion. 
You got three problems. No hope, no escape, and no, no mercy. mercy. Nice and brief, that's the way we like it. Thank you for giving me Max Wrath. I'll activate it straight away and kill you. <gasps> See, I've been hit during that fucking attack. It's annoying. He just died to curse. That was kind of pathetic. Oh, what a fucking execution. Oh, they've all got Unbreakable, that's it. Never mind. No, there used to be one of them that was mortally vulnerable to stealth. Um, and there used to be an exploit where you used to be able to bypass um, Unbreakable using uh, mortally vulnerable by stealth. But I believe they've passed that out now. <laughs> this is perfect because now we can get undying loyalty. We execute this guy. Then what we do is we just go for the resurrection. I've already done the pit fight since the last episode. Oh, the map keeper despawned. Damn it. You still like playing with the undead? I've been known to dabble in corpses a bit myself. <laughs> A few moments later. Whoops. You can't be serious. I've had worse from crippled ghouls. Oh well, at least I know I can't. I don't have to hold back against you. There's a friend over there. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow you for some free executions if you don't mind. Thank you. And the last one is just over there somewhere. Where is he? I can't see him. Those are all a bunch of grunts. Oh right, he's by himself in point B. He's actually much further away than I thought. And that was it. Easy. Chance. Right, so now we should be able to resurrect two boys here. There we go. Death is not the end. And this random guy that died before. Yay, we've got our first undead boys. Nice. This looks like a hmm. fortress. Terror. But it's really a crypt. Your crypt, Lame. I was really hoping we'd get a mystic one. 
because then we'd have got Necromancer, but oh well. Wow, that how has he survived that shot? I was I'm really surprised why we did so much so little damage then. Fire for you. Oh no, oh no. Oh, thank god we got the invulnerability cleanse on that. Jeez, I was a little spooked then. <laughs> nice. Asbro skin peeler. Oh, yeah, he's the one that's got a hit of pain. No wonder he did bits. See, it's actually just so tragic for Berserkers, because we've got the uh, the Outlaw Bow, if they become enraged, they pretty much guarantee themselves an instant kill headshot. It's just kind of sad. Oh my god, I'm really fucking these up. His friend's going to be a lot more annoying to get. There we go. Oh my god, look how many captains. One, crush the nightmare, dead. The Gondorian White's going in clutch. Borgu the Executioner, ironic. Oh, he's immune too bad. Moog Dead Killer, gone. Oh, that's why he was enraged, because he doesn't like the, uh, the undead boys. Execute? Oh, fuck's sake. I hate the hit detection sometimes. Okay. And the final war chief. Nice. Right, one crucial step we've got to make sure we do in this siege is activate our spiders when we encounter two gold or are these, is he two gold? Two gold? Does that have that name right? Oh it's named two horn. Two horn the pretender rather. So oh wait, do we actually have? Mog Rock Beast and Arhenic oh, Alright, oh. right, no, we wanna get we definitely want to get Sheops brewed because he might run away before we even need to do it ourselves. But effectively what we need to do is make sure he gets terrified and runs away so we can encounter him in the world later on. Right, let's do it. I curse your body to cast out the elf wraith and bleed out on the field. That doesn't make sense. We haven't got the elf wraith anymore. They're already tight as a bowstring. Can you feel it? Or are they under the impression that we're still? I suppose we are still considered the bright lord, aren't we? Hmm. Strange. It's very, very weird as well how the uh, captains remain loyal to us even though we no longer wield the, the ring of power that was used to dominate them. I wonder how they describe, how they actually like, explain that. Oh, is that 2 1 right there? Yeah, it is. It's 2 1. He's already terrified. Brilliant. Oh, 
There you go, he runs. It's a shame because even though he's uh, terrified because he's got Unbreakable, you can't use that exploit anymore to uh, override that and brand him. It's such a shame we don't keep the, the automatic raised dead. Oh, what's going on? Oh, we have a spy! Oh, cool. Nice. I was going to say, it's a shame we don't have the automatic resurrection now on uh, when we capture the points because that was really fun to use. Oh, that was a miss. Oopsies. Right, two things. One, we want to kill that Dire Caragor and probably headshot you once. That does do quite a lot of damage. This guy didn't even have a health bar. Was he... <laughs> once again, some irony. The beheader being beheaded. We do love it. I wonder if they actually went as far as to make titles like, for example, the beheader get guaranteed decapitations when you execute them. Just so it would be ironic. Have I just stabbed my own man? Have I just killed my own man? Oh my god, this man betrayed me. And before he even... Oh my god, before I even realised he betrayed me, I executed him. That's huge. That's actually amazing. I don't even remember recruiting you either, so... Bit of an L for you, mate. Oh, he's a tank. Hello, truckers. I didn't want to do that. Also, I discovered something amazing. That, you know that fucking fire cannon that Olongs can get? It's actually the most insane thing in the game. It actually like practically instant kills captains. It's hilariously broken. And for that reason, we're going to recruit this guy. Unless he's... Oh, he's not actually fiery. Oh, it's the half moon gun. Nah, you can die, mate. Don't really care about you. Who's next? Uh, this fiery guy looks like he's next on the list. Is he a tank? Might be. Let's just do that just to make sure. He was. Brilliant. Why is Rock Beast angry? Is he like angry at undead or something? No joy in this hunt talk. But gorging on your carcass afterwards? What the actual fuck was that? Joe Biden in orc form is just <laughs> I just brutalized them as well. You're welcome, Americans. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> we shall feast on man awful tonight. Ugh, no witty quote, what a shame. It's a shame he's not a necromancer, because if he was, he'd actually be like pretty dang. He'd be like a Zog standard, you know. This fort, human. Long enough. Come on, achievement. We should be getting an achievement here. Yeah. More grot beast. He's slammable. Fuck it. 
He's cool though, he's been raised by everything. Alright guys. There we go, he's the front. Well anyway guys, that's going to tie off today's episode. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and, you know, a funny comment down below. In the next episode, we are going to mess around with the Pretender Captain and probably fill this fortress up with lots and lots of cool tower-esque captains. So if you guys want to get them, you can of course uh, attack my fortress in Lithlad, I suppose. Um, using the name Ugbug, capital U. But only if you're on PC, unfortunately, because cross-platform seem to have been taken out. Even though I'm fairly certain they promised cross-platform before. Oh well. Um... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We've actually done it. We beat Shadow of War with no deaths. We beat Shadow of Mordor with no deaths. And we did it back to back. I mean, really, the challenge of this series ended at, like, episode 3. But, like, <laughs> you know, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching this little series. Of course, make sure you subscribe for uh, the next episode. I don't know when it's going to come out. I've got a bit of a backlog of uh, episodes at the moment because uh, my internet's really fucking slow at uploading. But, yeah. We see how it goes, guys. Anyway, I have something to say. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.